Right, so you know those orange street lights? Well, they're high pressure sodium lights, and that's what they look like on the inside. Really, quite, quite different from a regular light bulb. Yeah, which regular light bulbs are just sort of filament things. You pass a lot of uh, uh, electricity through a a filament and it glows red hot. Um, yeah, and then of course you got other ones like LEDs and fluorescents. But the, the this is is quite different. So here's your two power terminals, and one of them goes all the way to the other end of this tube on the inside here. And so it's a, it's a tube within a tube is what these sodium lights are. Now many of you would be wondering how on earth do you actually get light out of sodium? Uh, yeah, because sodium is a, a metal. This is metallic sodium. Um, but sodium, it turns out, boils at about 900 degrees or so. So what this tube in the middle does is it gets sodium up to about, oh, I don't know, quite hot, and let's say 600 degrees, at which point it's got a significant vapour pressure. And of course, once you've got metallic vapour, it'll actually conduct electricity. So that's, once you've got a metal vapour in there, you pass the electricity through it, and that, that excites uh, the electrons in there, which is what gives you the light. And I've never seen one of these before, but I'm going to guess that little black line there, actually on the tube in the middle, is what's used to actually start the thing. Um, the, these bulbs are a little different from yeah, that black line there. See that on the inside, in the inner tube. So in order to actually start these bulbs, you have to get them quite hot to begin with. They require what's called a choke. Not sure why it's all silvered down here. I'm going to guess that's due to heat issues. That you basically put reflective stuff on here to keep the heat down. Um, I don't actually know. Which comes to the interesting question: What the hell am I doing with the sodium light? Um, and the answer is, I want that tube in the middle. You see, I wanted to get a spectra of sodium gas for some time, and the problem is when I do it in a regular glass tube, it reacts with the glass, and the glass goes brown. Um, what's actually re actually happening is the sodium is reacting with the oxide in the silicon dioxide glass, and making sodium oxide, and you're getting silicon, and the silicon is what's sort of precipitating out and making it go or black. So these tubes in here are actually alumina tubes, aluminium oxide, same thing as sapphire and the ninja rock which you could use to break the uh, solar roadways. How? Because side windows are made of tempered glass. So congratulations, this is exactly the same material that you're proposing to make glass roads out of. And one little fragment of alumina could do millions of dollars worth of damage. But, um... So, in principle, there's a sealed tube in there with some sodium already in there. So what I've got to do is I've got to crack this open, take that tube out, and then I'm just going to heat that up to a few hundred degrees and see if I can actually see the sodium vapour in there. Now, some of you will say, but haven't you got loads of slow-motion footage of sodium gas? Well, yes, but those drops are tiny. They're only a few millimeters across, and the reaction, the important bit, is over in about a second, which makes it very difficult to get a spectrum of that gas. What you really want is a tube which will hold that gas that won't react with it. And hopefully, that's going to be alumina. Never done this before, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get in there, which I could do just by dropping it, but that's a fairly dull way to get into it. This might be under vacuum, by the way. I don't actually know yet. So, right, I've got one of these little class scribe things. This is silicon carbide, it's just something that's very, very hard. Not that different from aluminum, actually. So, this will scratch glass very easily. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a scratch on the glass and then. And nice way to actually crack glass in a fairly fairly safe way is you get a little bead of glass at a few hundred degrees and you just put it on the on the scratch and that should make it crack in a nice hopefully safe way uh, we'll see how it goes okay so I put a face shield on just in case this is on the vacuum they can do some quite exciting things if you get nice glass tubes on the vacuum and I'm just going to put a nice scratch on it
as long as you need to be that big. The thing you can hear in the background, by the way, is a um, oxygen concentrator for the, for the blowtorch. Get it nice and warm. Nice and hot. And there we go, got a beautiful crack. So, oh, it's, it's, um, wow. I wasn't expecting that. It's, um, yeah. You see how it's all been eaten away here? It's cesium, my God. You see how it's gone all sort of golden? It's cesium metal. This, so that must be to keep the oxygen levels right down. Oh. So this must have been under vacuum or argon. Oh, this bodes poorly for, uh, for getting my spectrum. That's amazing. It had cesium in it. That was cesium. Holy crap. You see, it's all oxidized away here. So there's almost none of it. I'm going to get this on a decent light. So you see the cesium's all oxidized away here. Here is the crack. I'll show you a little trick you can do for opening up cracks. So what you do, you just find your crack, who's there. And you can just tap on the crack, or propagate it. Okay. So, now I have it like that. There we go. So, as you can see, the cesium is reacting away really quite well, oxidizing. There you go. And you see how long the cesium takes to react away now. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Let's just chop him there. Perfect. Okay, that is one of after. That is an aluminium oxide tube in the middle of the sodium street light. That's actually what makes your, your street lights. I've got to heat that aluminum tube up to about 700 degrees and see if you can see the sodium gas inside, which I've never done before. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, it's blue. He's blue! That's what I'm after! Fantastic! Oh, I can't believe it, I got it. So this is going to work out fantastic for giving the spectrum this stuff.